Hello, Leo. Welcome to your Tarot Scope energy reading for March 2024, or whenever you're watching this, because this is intended to be timeless. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Sit back, relax, close your eyes if you feel guided to, allowing the messages to come forth as they're supposed to, as spirit intends, taking only what speaks directly to your soul, and releasing what doesn't. So the card I pulled for you this month is the Six of Swords. So in the Moonchild Tarot, the Six of Swords highlights deep revolutions of transition and change. These may involve actual travel or upcoming events that will open new doorways. As the light at the end of this journey may still be somewhat obscured, there may be an initial reluctance to move forward. Uncharted territory can often be frightening to navigate if you are unsure of how the future will unfold. Yet, by taking this leap of faith, you may find that you will successfully relinquish certain energies or forces in your life that have held you back for far too long. As you keep on moving, you may begin to understand the advantage of letting things go as an evolutionary process, which further adds to the strength of your spirit. This is the ultimate rite of passage, when we shed our layers and evolve into a wiser, softer, and more resilient being. So the message that I really channel for you is that you're transitioning and you're changing. And this is, a, this is something that's been going on with you for a while. So Spirit's telling you to take your time to not force yourself to move forward. Spirit's telling you um, it's really time to make this about you. Swords is air energy. So air energy is about communication. It's about balance. It's mental. So you are definitely in a soul searching and you're just looking to find that path forward for yourself. So let's just see what this card is telling you for this month. So what is the energy please for the month for Leo? Sun, Moon are rising. Okay, the energy for you is the Fool. So, it's time to take a leap of faith, but I'm hearing you take that leap of faith when you're ready. Because the Fool is basically telling you that you are going to go wherever you want to go. Because she's holding a crystal in her hand, which to me looks like an amethyst. So you will take that leap of faith. You will take that first step when you are intuitively guided to and not before because what this is or or what will come up for you is temperance you're balancing you're balancing your light and your dark you're balancing your masculine and your feminine and you are truly healing everything that has broken your heart in the past you are finally doing something for yourself because you want to live your life as the Ten of Pentacles, having it all together, this beautiful family, beautiful friendships, beautiful career. You wanna have it in the 3D physical world, but in order for you to do that, you have to take care of yourself. I feel you have been taking care of other people for so long that it's time for you to take care of yourself. And the guidance for you is the Three of Pentacles. So the Three of Pentacles is showing me that it is time for you to co-create and co-collaborate with spirit by grounding yourself and just taking this time for yourself because I feel you get confused, you get frustrated and now this Five of Swords is finally telling you what you need to release with the Five of Cups. <coughs> there are some people you haven't spoken to about what you are doing. Some of them don't get it, some of them do. But you want to have the Two of Cups. Now, the Two of Cups is not just in love. You want to have the Two of Cups with yourself. You want to have the Two of Cups with a Divine Love counterpart, with your friends, your family, your co-workers, your job, your career. So, how this month is going to go for you is just let your inner child guide the way. By letting your inner child guide the way, you will get the messages that you need in the 3D world and you are going to continue to hibernate continue to stay in your slumber or your hermit mode 
and I feel when the spring equinox happens towards mid to late March, that's when you're going to feel the need to wake up. So I feel by April, you're going to really have this full transition and change and you are just going to emerge a brand new person. I do hope that this energy reading has brought you clarity and guidance. If it did, drop a comment below to let me know. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And if you are subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. Make sure that you have the bell notification set so you can be notified when new content is posted on my channel. If you are interested in booking with me, go to the description box below. You can see my full list of services, my links, and all the ways you can connect with me outside of YouTube. Love and light to you. Many blessings.